Hi, I'm Faisal Carmelli, and welcome back to my channel. On Real Talk, we had an interview and a conversation with Monica Kretschmer. She's the founder of Universal Women's Network. Now, if you want to watch the full interview, there is a link in the description below. And for more videos, head over to our channel and subscribe for all of our updates. I wanted to talk to Monica on this show. I really wanted her story to come out for a whole bunch of reasons. She went from emergency shelter all the way to CEO of her own company. Now that's a big transformation. The impact that she's gone through hopefully will resonate with you to give you that motivation that you can do it too. At the end of this video, you're gonna see some most important tips that you can use in your own business today. All right, let's get into this video. You were in survival mode. I was in survival mode. I, I was in survival mode for seven years. And I thought, if I'm going to walk through fire and survive, <laughs> I've got to do something with this. Watch how Monica transformed that mindset into a business. You know, when I look back at all the challenges that I had, I think it was a great, great practice for me being an entrepreneur because it's like, okay, got that ball, run with it. There's a boulder, I caught it. She caught a boulder. Look at how she's describing this. She catches a boulder, she throws it. She looks back with 2020 hindsight and just calls it a boulder. Well, I had a seven month old baby and you and I met in the Calgary Women's Emergency Shelter. She's in an emergency shelter. Her first thought process is not her money, is not about her divorce. It's about just getting out of the, the shelter. This is what we want to do on Real Talk, is not only talk about the person's story, how they got to where they're at, but they have struggles along the way. So how can we help them as a community? What kind of advice, information, or maybe we want to get involved? Well, I knew my core values that got me through that seven-year journey were the courage, confidence, commitment, and integrity. Those became my core values for my business. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go through whatever life throws at you, you're gonna reestablish your core values and understand what's important to you. That's where you can lead with your business. If your core values are in check, they will align with other people's core values and they will buy from you. That's a key way of winning in business today. If I can get through all of that, I'm gonna put all my power into me and there's no stopping me. So I became fearless. Everybody has their own challenges and problems. When you look back and you can say, I can go through this, bring it, bring it on. This is the time where you can do anything you want and there is no fear, there's no shame, there's no judgment, let's just go for it. That's when you'll find that your business, your personal life and everything around you will just bloom. Story. I thought I'd be flooded with people <laughs> coming to find me. Anyways, you can laugh even louder, right? <laughs> Well, I was with you when you right? launched it, so yeah, I remember yeah. the stories, but we'll, we'll yeah. touch on that in a second. Okay, so she's talking about her launch here, and it was a flop. The expectation of receiving business just because you put up a website is not the case. You have to get in there and grind, and that's what I'm saying to you. Business tip, grind out there every day. Go get new clients. Go get new business. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. Because over time, you build that foundation into a beautiful home. I mean, I had no idea what I was doing building a website. I really just had a vision with what I wanted to create, but I didn't have content. Content is king. Yeah. We have too much expectation out of technology. We expect we can post something and it will go viral. We expect that if you put something on the internet, people will come to you. Monica's problem was building a website that didn't have any content on it. She couldn't really relate to the user who's gonna watch or read her website. And so she had to build that content. But no one knows how many hours a day you have to work. And Nobody you knows how hard you have to work as a business owner. You are going to have struggles. It is going to be difficult to make it as a business more now than ever before. With the internet and social media, you're one of billions of people out there. Why should they come to you? Why should they work with you? You have to differentiate. More importantly, expect to work harder. Above water. Now I get to work that hard to build something for me and leave my legacy. This is the reason why every business owner becomes a business owner because they want to give, have a purpose. They also want to leave a legacy and do it for themselves. This is why they're wired differently. You know, it's okay to have a job. It's okay to be employed and work for someone. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to say you're a business owner or an entrepreneur, you need to understand that it has to be different. You got to work harder. You cannot expect others to do for you. It is a long struggle to get ahead. So the patience in this is key. And it's so difficult to be patient, but it needs to be done. So you can look at it from a bigger picture. Think 3,000 feet up versus 300 feet up and you'll see why going through this process over time will work. I think it's essential to be able to pivot. What a, what a comment there. 
essential to pivot. When things aren't working, turn one way. When things are going great, keep going at it. And then understand you might have to change again. Understanding when to pivot, what a great piece of advice Monica had right there. You have to know about the technology yourself. As a leader of your organization, you can't just give that task to anybody because that's your brand. Right now in her business, social media is important. She has to understand how it works. She may not have to do it herself, but she has to understand how it works. Right? And even the top, top big companies are all going to the stories. This is why we're building stories and showing them to you. Everyone has a story. Every company has a story. And if we understand that, we connect better. You've had successful events, not so successful yeah. events, and you tested it. You had no clue if it was going to work out until after. You just have to be confident in yourself. You know, confidence is a key thing in business. Having that confidence, which comes over time, more importantly, comes through your successes and failures. That's what's going to give you more confidence. And so have that courage. Oh my God, the hurdles. There's only one of me. You know, I need 20 of me. So they're going to clone you. <laughs> Every business owner says that to me. I need more people like me so they can do it. It's working smarter, not always harder. It's understanding your strengths and really focusing on that and aligning yourselves with other people whose their strengths are not yours. So that's how you leverage up with human resources. Cash so, is king though, Faisal, cash okay. is king. She's at a point in her business where capital is a key thing. I have heard from business owner after business owner why capital is important. Understand where you're going to get your money from and be creative. Get the advice out there. There's so many good resources out there to help you. And if you're one of those people who can help finance businesses, give capital to businesses to grow, reach out to me. I'd love to connect you with all these other businesses that are looking for capital. So as we build and grow our Women of Inspiration nationally and then globally, then all of our Women of Inspiration will then also be elevated to a whole other level. Now, they will continue to grow and connect at a global level. And then they'll also... Um, continue their leadership journey and create their legacy. Well, I'm trying to get her vision, trying to get everything all sum up. It's taken Monica over two, three minutes to even give us an overview. When someone wants to connect with you either online or face to face, you literally have less than 30 seconds to make a connection so they want to know more. You need to have this elevator pitch solid. If I was Monica, here's what my elevator pitch would be. My job in life is to help motivate and more importantly, empower women for the future. That makes people ask you, what do you mean by that? And then that will give you an opportunity to have that conversation with that individual in the future. Practice it, write it down, share it with your friends, family, everybody, and get their feedback because we want impact. 30 seconds, anytime you get that interview, it's important up to you. You've had many times over the years to quit. Not really. You could have. I could have. You could have just packed it and said, I'm going to go back to my old job or I'm going to take a nine to fiver and, and live it safe. Why didn't you quit? Because I never give up. Quitting is not an option. Just because it doesn't work out then doesn't mean it never will. Never give up. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Monica's going to crush it. I hope you crush it. Most important takeaways from this video. Number one, no matter what you go through in your personal life or in your past, we can use it as a roadblock or we can use it as a stepping stone. Monica's showing how you can use it as a stepping stone. Number two, technology. Understanding what a website requires. Understanding what content and messaging is about. And if you're a business that does not have a social media presence, and I mean you're actively putting stuff out there, you're going to be forgotten. So how do you expect your business to grow? Number three, do not ramble on about what you do. 30 second elevator pitch, push it hard, make sure that you can engage the individual. You're gonna meet many, many people online or face to face. And how you explain what you do and how you can impact that individual, if it takes more than 30 seconds, they're gonna tune out. If you have any comments, concerns, or you just wanna get in touch with us, reach out to us, share your comments, I'll get in touch with you. See you next time.